Welcome back to virtual reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DVR. Today I have uh, something very special for you. I have the Oculus Quest 2 here and in this video we will do an unboxing of that. We will see what's inside there, a first impression of the quality and stuff. As you can see, I'm not at home here. I am uh, at Nathy. Thank you, Nathy, for uh, giving me the opportunity to see this cool headset. Yeah. So you can find everything about VR and AR on this channel. Thanks to my sponsors, Woodgirls VR, Opperman Events, Anidip Helzer, VR Ambassador, Alpha Blend Interactive and Virtual Escape. Let's have some fun with the unboxing of the Oculus, Oculus Quest 2 and let's go. Okay guys, and here we have the two packages. There's another one here. This is a Quest 2 Elite Strap. I will unbox that as well. It's an additional accessory here, but let's first check out the box. So we have the Oculus Quest 2 here. First thing that we see, it's white now. Oh my God. And here it's uh, inside the box. VR headset, touch controllers, AA batteries, power adapter, glasses, spacer, and charging cable. On the back, we have the new games that are announced. Echo VR, Star Wars, Tales from the Galaxy's Edge, Population 1, The Climb 2, Jurassic World, Aftermath and Beat Saber. Very interesting. And um, yeah, there's some attention warnings. Uh, and yeah, it's the 64 gigabyte version here. So yeah, let's, let's unbox that. Of course, it's, it was already unboxed, um, but it's fine, I think. We will see that. So yeah, let's let's check it out together. Here we go, guys. Look at this. So uh, here are some images. First thing we have to attach the straps, then um, push the button for two seconds to power it on and adjustment of the head strap, of course. Yeah, then let's check out what's inside the box. I will put it here that you can see it perhaps a little bit. So first let's check out what's inside this small box here. I think it's um, sorry for I don't have the camera from top as uh, always as normally because I'm not at home <laughs> so um, we will check it out here it's a reference guide and a security and warranty guide here Let's see that okay so and then there is an USB cable here it's USB-C on both sides and as we can see, it's very, very short. I would say one meter, right? And this is too short to use it for Oculus Link. So you have to buy the Oculus Link cable. Oh, yes. And of course, the power adapter. Um, this is the Europe European version, of course. The US version will look different a little bit and with a USB-C port. Yeah, okay. So let's put that inside again. Nice, that inside again and then to the side and then let's check out uh, what's inside. Look at this here. And uh, this is, uh, um, how's, how's this is for the glasses. It, you can put it inside the Quest to have more distance between the lenses and your eyes. This, this is cool for people wearing glasses. It's inside the package of course. Then we have the controllers. And as you can see, they are white and they are much bigger. They are, they feel much bigger. He, the, the black um, plate here is much bigger. And um, when you put your thumb here, it's so much bigger. You have more space for your thumb here. I don't know if that is good or bad. We will, I will try that. And uh, yeah, we will have here the, the thumbstick A, B and Oculus button grip and stuff. Yeah, and on the other side, um, X and Y buttons. It feels, I, I will have to compare that as well. It feels different, definitely. But yeah, the way it works is of course the same. Same buttons, same uh, use. And now here it comes, here it comes. Sorry for that. Here we go. So it's white, you can see that. And here's the lens protection. And first thing that we noticed, there's a flappy <laughs> a head strap here. It's not a, 
as the old quest. It's a flexible head strap. You can mount it here. And yeah. Then from the front, we see yeah, it's white. We still have four cameras here. On the right side, we have the power button and the uh, LED. On the left side, we have the audio jack. Only on the left side, the old quest has uh, on both sides and the USB C port. On the top, there is nothing. And now, look, check this out. On the up uh, down side, we have two microphones here <clears throat> and the volume up and down and no IPD slider. We don't have an IPD slider here, but we can change the lenses in three different states for big IPD, medium IPD and small IPD. That's it. And of course we can remove this part here. Yeah, that's it. Um, the lenses are the same, but from the inside you can see, uh, to be honest, it, it feels cheaper than the, than the old one because there is no cloth stuff here. It's just plastic. It just feels more plastic, uh, right? And yeah, that's it so far. And then let's check out the separate sold um, Quest 2 Elite Strap. I think this one is, uh, let's talk about the prices quick. Um, <clears throat> the 64 gigabyte version is $299. The 256 gigabyte is um, $399. And the head strap is I think 50 bucks. If this, if this is not correct, please check out in the description. I will, cor uh, I will show the correct uh, values, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's right. So yeah, let's check it out. It's a deluxe audio strap. There's also one with a battery pack included. It's 150 bucks, but I don't have this here. So this is only the standard elite strap. Look at this. Let's unbox that. <clears throat> oh yeah. How does that work? Here, here we go. It says, remove with, with care, follow quick start guide. Yeah, so let's remove it. Oh yeah, and there's a small package as well with, uh, what, what's that? Um, a small guide and a warranty guide, safety and warranty guide, of course. Yeah, read it if you want. <laughs> uh, then let's check it out. So, oh yeah, look at this. That looks really comfortable. Um, you can mount it on both sides and with the top strap. And then we have this with this wheel here that we already know from other VR headsets. And now I would compare it. This one I can compare in this video. So let's just check the standard strap. It, it fits good. Can adjust it a little bit here and on, on the back as well. But I think it's fine. Um, there is very little light leakage from, from the bottom here. A little bit. But I think it's, it's fine. It's still front heavy. Uh, the weight is definitely on my, on my face. And what I have to say is that my nose touches the lenses here uh, at the smallest IPD state. That's very strange. Not good. Um, so let's check out the, the other um, strap. We can very easily um, disassemble um, it here. Just remove that one, remove this one, and here we go. Then just put the Velcro strap through this hole here, put it here, and this one we can mount on the sides here. Give me a second. It has to do a click or two clicks at least. Yeah, here we go. So that's it. This is how it looks. Looks, of course, much better, much uh, more elite. <laughs> and uh, when I wear it on my head, I uh, have to do that with this. Uh, put the face gasket, of course, back here in place because otherwise it would be very uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and this is really a huge difference, guys. A huge. This is ultra comfortable, really. So 
I can already tell you without doing other tests that this is a must-have. The audio strap is a must-have for me if you want to play longer than half an hour or something like that. It's great, but I, st I still uh, the, I can still notice that the lenses touches my nose here and that is not good. That is really not good. Um, yeah. However, there will be some more videos incoming. I'm here at Nati's house and I have a lot of time to do a review about the um, Oculus Quest 2. Then, a comp then I will do a comparison between the old and the new one. And then I will, of course, uh, give you an advice. Um, if you have the old Quest, should you buy the new one or not? What's the difference and stuff? And uh, then I will show you one or two gameplays as well with the Quest 2. So, if you didn't already subscribe, do that. Hit the bell so you don't miss anything and look forward to some cool news of, of, about the Oculus Quest 2. You can find all the links to buy the headset in the description below. And then I think it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button, as I said. Please give me thumbs up and yeah, see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Wude.de 